Now you are going to have the listening test. This listening test has two pieces of paper, number one and number two. You are going to use test paper number one first. Please open test paper number one. There are three parts in this listening test, part A, part B, and part C. Please look at part A. In this part of the listening test, you will hear six conversations between two people. You will hear each conversation twice. After listening to each conversation twice, you will hear a question. Each question will be read only once, and you must choose the answer from one to four. Now begin. Number one. There are no eggs. If we need eggs for today's dinner, shall I go to the supermarket to buy some eggs? Well, we will not use eggs to make today's dinner, so it's okay. There are no eggs. If we need eggs for today's dinner, shall I go to the supermarket to buy some eggs? Well, we will not use eggs to make today's dinner, so it's okay. Question. What does the man mean? Number two. This picture is wonderful. Oh, thank you. My brother painted this picture when we went to a park. He is 11 years old. Really? I can't believe that such a young boy painted this picture. This picture is wonderful. Oh, thank you. My brother painted this picture when we went to a park. He is 11 years old. Really? I can't believe that such a young boy painted this picture. Question. How does the woman feel? Number three. This question is very difficult. I don't know the answer. Well, I wrote the way to answer that kind of question in my notebook. It is in my classroom. I will bring it now. Please wait here. This question is very difficult. I don't know the answer. Well, I wrote the way to answer that kind of question in my notebook. It is in my classroom. I will bring it now. Please wait here. Question. What will the woman probably do next? Number four. What's the matter? Well, I thought I put my dictionary and some notebooks in my bag after doing my homework at home yesterday. But the dictionary isn't in my bag. Do you need it in your next lesson? Yes, I will need it. You can use mine. I will not use my dictionary in my next lesson. Oh, really? Thank you. That's okay. What's the matter? Well, I thought I put my dictionary and some notebooks in my bag after doing my homework at home yesterday. But the dictionary isn't in my bag. Do you need it in your next lesson? Yes, I will need it. You can use mine. I will not use my dictionary in my next lesson. Oh, really? Thank you. That's okay. Question. What was the man's problem? Number five. I want to see our English teacher, Ms. Tanaka, but I don't know where she is now. Did you go to the room for teachers? Yes. I went there soon after eating lunch, and I have just come back here. I see. Why do you want to see her? I want to ask her about the club activity. 
Well, she will have lessons for my class in the afternoon. She always comes to my classroom early after eating lunch. Shall we go to my classroom now? Yes, I will go there with you now. I want to see our English teacher, Ms. Tanaka, but I don't know where she is now. Did you go to the room for teachers? Yes, I went there soon after eating lunch, and I have just come back here. I see. Why do you want to see her? I want to ask her about the club activity. Well, she will have lessons for my class in the afternoon. She always comes to my classroom early after eating lunch. Shall we go to my classroom now? Yes, I will go there with you now. Question What will the man probably do next? Number six. What are you doing? I am trying to find the name of a bird on the internet. I see the same birds around the station every evening, but I don't know the name of those birds. Well, are the birds big? No, they aren't big, and the color of them is brown. A lot of brown birds of the same kind gather around the station. Where do they come from? I have no idea. What are you doing? I am trying to find the name of a bird on the internet. I see the same birds around the station every evening, but I don't know the name of those birds. Well, are the birds big? No, they aren't big, and the color of them is brown. A lot of brown birds of the same kind gather around the station. Where do they come from? I have no idea. Question. What does the woman mean? Look at part B. In this part of the listening test, you will hear a passage. The passage will be spoken twice. After listening to the passage twice, you will hear two questions. Each question will be read only once, and you must choose the answer from one to four. Now begin. Number seven. Dear visitors, welcome to our city museum. We are going to tell you about this museum. On July 1st, 1978, our city became 100 years old. On that day, we opened this museum to celebrate the city's birthday. In 2017, this museum will be 39 years old. We have collected a lot of things about our city. We show visitors almost half of these things now. We will show other things during special weeks each year. On the first floor, there are many things about the history of our city. You can see a house which was built in a local village over 100 years ago. We moved all the parts of the house to this museum. In the museum, the house was built again. Then, we put old clothes and some other things used by people at that time in the house, so you can see them there. On the second floor, we show you things about nature in our city. You can see many pictures of plants and animals. You can watch a movie to learn how wild animals live in the mountains of our city. There is a cafeteria in this museum. It's on the third floor. It serves light meals. Please enjoy looking around our museum. Dear visitors, welcome to our city museum. We are going to tell you about this museum. On July 1st, 1978, our city became 100 years old. On that day, we opened this museum to celebrate the city's birthday. In 2017, this museum will be 39 years old. We have collected a lot of things about our city. We show visitors almost half of these things now. We will show other things during special weeks each year. On the first floor, there are many things about the history of our city. You can see a house which was built in a local village over 100 years ago. We moved all the parts of the house to this museum. 
In the museum, the house was built again. Then we put old clothes and some other things used by people at that time in the house, so you can see them there. On the second floor, we show you things about nature in our city. You can see many pictures of plants and animals. You can watch a movie to learn how wild animals live in the mountains of our city. There is a cafeteria in this museum. It's on the third floor. It serves light meals. Please enjoy looking around our museum. Question one: When did this city start? Question two: Which sentence is true about the information of this museum? Part C. Now, please open test paper number two. First, please read the passage about ways of reading. You have one minute. Now, begin to read. Stop reading. Now you are going to hear the conversation between Ben and Maki. They are talking about ways of reading. You will hear their conversation twice. After listening, you will hear a question, and the question will be read only once. You can write notes about the things they say about the ways of reading on the test paper. When you are listening, now listen to the conversation. Maki, did you read the passage about ways of reading? Yes, I did. It is interesting. This passage tells us about two ways of reading for learning a foreign language. I know you are studying English very hard, so you read things written in English, right? Yes, Ben. I like reading books. I started reading books written in English last year. Every morning, I read a short story without using a dictionary. I have already read fifteen books. Oh, that's great! You read them in Way B, right? Yes, I often read books in Way B. Recently, I feel I can read English books quickly. Now I think Way B is good because it improves my skills to understand main points more quickly. I see. You think reading in Way B is helpful, right? Yes. I also think that reading in Way B helps me when I want to get necessary information quickly from things written in English on the internet, in newspapers, or in magazines. So I think Way B is helpful. Ben, I know you read books written in Japanese. How do you read them? Well, I read them in Way B. When I read the books, I often find Japanese words I don't know. It is difficult for me to read them, but I am very happy when I can understand the meanings of the Japanese sentences. Now I am also trying to read books written in Japanese in way A because I want to know more about Japanese.
Oh, really? Ben, you think way A is also helpful. What do you think about those two ways of reading for learning a foreign language? Both way A and way B are necessary for learning a foreign language. I think our language skills improve when we read in these two ways. Only one way is not enough. You mean that reading only in way B is not enough, right? Yes, I think so. We need to read in way A when we want to know the meaning of each part of the sentences we read. There are some skills that we can get by reading in way A. For example, I think we can get a skill to understand how words connect one idea and other ideas. I see. I will try to read books also in way A. I think way A will be very helpful because I will be able to understand the meaning of each part of the sentences better. Thank you, Ben. Maki, did you read the passage about ways of reading? Yes, I did. It is interesting. This passage tells us about two ways of reading for learning a foreign language. I know you are studying English very hard, so you read things written in English, right? Yes, Ben. I like reading books. I started reading books written in English last year. Every morning I read a short story without using a dictionary. I have already read 15 books. Oh, that's great! You read them in way B, right? Yes, I often read books in way B. Recently, I feel I can read English books quickly. Now I think way B is good because it improves my skills to understand main points more quickly. I see. You think reading in way B is helpful, right? Yes. I also think that reading in way B helps me when I want to get necessary information quickly from things written in English on the Internet, in newspapers, or in magazines. So I think way B is helpful. Ben, I know you read books written in Japanese. How do you read them? Well, I read them in way B. When I read the books, I often find Japanese words I don't know. It is difficult for me to read them, but I am very happy when I can understand the meanings of the Japanese sentences. Now, I am also trying to read books written in Japanese in way A, because I want to know more about Japanese. Oh, really? Ben, you think way A is also helpful. What do you think about those two ways of reading for learning a foreign language? Both way A and way B are necessary for learning a foreign language. I think our language skills improve when we read in these two ways. Only one way is not enough. You mean that reading only in way B is not enough, right? Yes, I think so. We need to read in way A when we want to know the meaning of each part of the sentences we read. There are some skills that we can get by reading in way A. For example, I think we can get a skill to understand how words connect one idea and other ideas. I see. I will try to read books also in way A. I think way A will be very helpful because I will be able to understand the meaning of each part of the sentences better. Thank you, Ben. Question. What does Maki think about these two ways of reading, way A and way B? Explain her opinions and reasons in English. You have five minutes to write. Now, begin. 